on a trip to Minneapolis. I was invited to go visit the headquarters of General Mills and hear about a really great program they're doing. I'm really excited to head out on this little trip. It's a pretty short trip, so um, I shouldn't be gone for too long. But um, yeah, I love these kind of trips because I love learning about brands and seeing things up close. Um, and I love meeting other people, other content creators, and so it'll be really fun to do that. I have become the most last minute packer. Literally just packed um, just now and my flight is in a couple hours, but it's a short trip, so I should be fine. I'll be back, I promise, okay? I know, you get all nervous when you know everybody's leaving, don't you, baby? It's okay, I won't be gone that long. Uh, doesn't everyone do this? I just use these hot tools and I need to pack them, so I was trying to cool them off. Okay, so this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this cute little leopard print jumper. I don't know how to explain it. It looks like a dress, but I love these kind of things. I wear them all the time, they're so comfy. And I never wear animal print normally, but this was really subtle and cute, so I like it. And a hat because I didn't want to pack my hat, but I know I want to wear it. So anything I don't want to pack, I just where I hate leaving dirty dishes in my sink when I leave. Is anyone else like that? Comment below if you're like that, if you hate leaving. Like I didn't have time to clean my whole house, I tried to pick up a little bit, but I hate leaving dirty dishes in the sink. So I got to the airport and this time I was smart and packed all of my own snacks, which included oranges. Um, yes, I was that weirdo <laughs> peeling oranges in the corner, but it smelled really good. It was a really great snack. Then, of course, I started talking to some random person. I got off the plane and I was absolutely starving and I was looking for something healthy, something delicious and what? I found this option that was perfect. Um, so I'm not full-time vegan but I do enjoy eating plant-based about 90% of the time so I was really happy to find a delicious salad. adorable in here. I have about 10 minutes to get ready for dinner, so I have to hurry. My ride here took a while because of traffic, so I'm about to be on the fast track. Never had a cereal box with my name on it before. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. So great. Okay, the quickest room tour ever before I mess everything up. Holy cuteness. There is the bed. Uh, I want to redecorate my room now. This is adorable. Look at the exposed brick. I love it! And there is my view. Oh, uh, not too shabby. Now let's go into the bathroom. Got this cute little mirror right here. Sliding door. And great lighting for makeup. Also love a nice stand-up shower. Oh, I'm a fan. And the toilet, which I need to use, because oh my, just random out. That's intense. So I didn't have any time to film any sort of makeup tutorial or even show you guys the makeup that I'm loving, but if you would like to see, head to my Instagram and go to the skincare tab on my page and I share all of my favorites with you guys. I did it. Yes! And I'm only a smidge late. Now it's time to go. So they took 
took us to an amazing restaurant called Bachelor Farmer in Minneapolis. Apparently it's a Minneapolis favorite and it was absolutely delicious. Like I mentioned before, I am not full-time vegan, but I do enjoy eating plant-based and they were so accommodating. They made me all plant-based options. Um, this wild rice was amazing. It was like wild rice, mushrooms, and veggies. It was so good. watching like kind of cringe like what was I the like what was I think like the line Okay, so I'm back in my room for the night. I had the best time. I love when I go on these trips and I meet really genuine awesome people. So I'm gonna try to get some rest because Okay, so it is day two and I'm up early because um, they signed us up for a bar method class for the people that wanted to take one. And I think me and Gabe from Gabe and Babe, if you don't know them where have you been? <laughs> but I feel like all of my viewers watch them too. But I'll still, I'll link her channel and their family channel um, in the description box below if you don't watch them. But anyway, I think her and I are the only ones going to this class. So, because it's kind of early. But I love Bar Method. I've done it back home before and it's a really good workout. Okay, so just finished bar. Um, now I remember why I stopped doing bar method. <laughs> uh, it was a workout for sure, but I'm feeling really good now, so it was awesome. Um, bar method is a really good workout. I've never tried it before. Take a class and you will see. Um, your whole body will hurt when you're done, but it's a great workout. It's such a good workout. Such a beautiful space, so yeah. And yes, of course, I was still refilling on coffee. That never changes, but um, yeah. So it was so fun to be at General Mills headquarters. They introduced us to some fun friends that came to visit. We took pictures. Um, I love when brands understand the importance of inviting content creators out to hear about the brand and hear about what they're doing. Stay tuned, you guys, because I have so much more to share about what I learned at General Mills and awesome stuff that will really be amazing for you guys as well. Hold on, rewind. It's the Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh my goodness. He's even cuter in person. So we just got to the test kitchen here and we're gonna make a really fun recipe. I'm gonna make this unicorn Chex mix for the kids. Um, and yeah, I get to try out all the ingredients and all the delicious stuff, so let's go. 